hello everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you are doing great this tutorial is about how to draft a basic skirt pattern why should I watch this tutorial you would ask okay because I know there are a lot of tutorials out there about how to draft a skirt pattern okay so number one one of the reasons why you should watch this tutorial is that as Africans you would notice that our body structure is actually different okay we have big buttocks wide hips thick ties and we have thin waist okay so think about it how do you think you're going to draft your skirt in such a way that you accommodate all of this in just one skirt and you have a perfect fit okay if you look at some countries some african countries for example like south africa ghana you understand what i'm saying when i say you have big buttocks white hips thin waist and when i say thin waist i mean for example a waist of like 32 and the hips measurement of about 50 inches so how do you think you're going to accommodate all of this in one skirt secondly knowing how to draft a basic skirt yeah is actually a foundation for knowing how to draft all kinds of skirt this tutorial will give you the details of the basic skirt okay i'm going to explain in details all that you need to know okay i'm not just going to give you the formula or tell you that do this do that no i'm going to tell you okay the reason why you should do this is this okay if you have some um designer skirts okay when you iron the back the back is not as flat as the front is have you ever noticed that when you're ironing it you see that the it's like there is excess fabric at the buttocks side of the skirt there's excess fabric at that buttocks okay that excess fabric is not just there okay it wasn't a mistake is to accommodate the buttocks so guys if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe so that i don't miss out on any tutorial and then please turn on the notification bell so that anytime i post you get an alert that i've posted thank you very much now let's get to the tutorial for this tutorial guys i'll be drafting the front pattern first and then i'll be drafting the back pattern because i want to do it separately okay and that is because of some things some calculations that we'll do um while drafting i'm going to explain that later okay so if you're drafting directly on your fabric you can fold your fabric into two okay so guys to start this tutorial the measurements that we are going to need are the waist the hips and then the length of the skirt okay remember i said we we're drafting a basic skirt okay so here my waist is 29 my hips is 39 and then the length is 26 okay so like what i was telling you earlier okay i have those two uh, measurements as well okay the waist is 32 the hips is 47 okay so the difference is 15 between the waist and the hips okay and the other measurement the waist is 39 the hips is 52 the difference is 13 inches okay and then the first one which is my measurement actually the difference is 10 okay 29 and 39 the difference is 10 inches okay so now i'm going to show you the things we are going to do okay to ensure that we draft a fitted skirt okay now let's get to it the first thing we are going to do is to draw a baseline on the paper okay if you're doing it on your skirt on the fabric directly it's fine as well okay so from that baseline what you're going to do is to measure the length of your skirt okay the length of my skirt is um 26 like i wrote on the paper but because of what i've written there okay um the space is not enough anymore so i'll be using 25 inches instead okay so from the baseline that you have drawn measure the length of your skirt downward okay which is what i'm doing right now so after that draw it into a straight line so just for clarity guys this part is my center front okay so here i'm just putting inscriptions okay just to let me know that it is the center front which is going to be on fold for this kind of skirt okay i want the zipper to be at the back and then here i'm also changing the um, length that i put here from 26 to 25 inches 
the next thing you are going to do is to measure down from the baseline okay which is the top of the skirt measure down the distance between your waist and your hips okay mine is 7.5 and then i'm just going to measure it down like this and then i'll draw it into a straight line so here i'm labeling the line this is my hips line okay and this is my waist line so now let's draft the horizontal measurement starting with the waistline okay my waist is 29 okay i'll divide that by four and then what i have is 7.25 okay so i'm going to measure 7.25 on the waistline okay but remember this is a fitted skirt okay so we need to put that okay the that helps with shaping and contouring okay so for this i'm going to put a dart of one inch okay so i'll be measuring an extra one inch on my waistline okay so that will give me 8.75 so now to the hips i want to just be dividing my hips measurement by four okay what i'm going to do is this to get the front hips i'm going to divide my total hips measurement by two okay and then i'll subtract one from it okay the reason for doing this is because if you look at the body of a woman you see that if you measure from one side to the other okay passing through the front you see that the measurement you get for the front is lower than the one you get for the back and the reason is because of the botox okay you know we have the botox at the back so that is why we cannot just divide our uh, hips measurement by four that is why we can't distribute it equally okay so we have to apportion more inches to the back than to the front okay so in this case now i'm deducting one inch from the front and i'll be adding that one inch to the back okay so by the time i had everything up at the end of the day i'm still going to get my total hips measurement just that the amount of inches that i distributed to the back is more than the one i distributed to the front because of the botox i hope you understand me so here to get my front hips okay i'm going to divide my total hips which is 39 by 2 okay so 39 by 2 is equal to 19.5 19.5 minus 1 is equal to 18.5 so 18.5 is the measurement of uh, my front hips but you know we're folding the paper into two right so i'm going to do 18.5 divided by two okay that is 9.25 and that is what i'm marking right here okay so the front hips is 9.25 so now to the length of the skirt i'm going to mark the same measurement that is on my hips at the m of the skirt okay this is a draft for a straight skirt okay it's not a pencil skirt if it were to be a pencil skirt what i would do is to deduct one inch from my hips measurement and mark whatever i get at the m of the skirt okay but since it is um a straight skirt i'm just going to mark the same measurement i got at the hips at the m okay so now i'm going to join the points together first i'm going to join the hips to the hem okay with a straight line and also i'm going to join the waist to the hips okay with a ruler you can use your hips curve if you have one but this method has been working for me yeah i join it with a ruler okay because that even helps to shape my waist okay um it flattens my tummy so here i'm going to use my french curve to blend all the pointed edges okay because i used my ruler the hips parts will be pointed okay it's going to have a, a, a sharp feel okay so i'm just going to use my french curve to blend it so the next thing i'm going to do is to construct my dart so when we put the dart on our waistline it helps to shape our waist while giving more room for the hips i hope you understand 
so now I'm going to need my bust span measurement okay my bust span measurement is 7 and then I'll divide that by 2 and that is 3.5 inches so to get the position where I'm going to put the dart I'm going to measure 3.5 inches from the center front inward okay and that is the mark that I am making there okay so what I'm doing here is just to draw it into a straight line okay so to get the point where our dart will stop you measure three inches upward from your hips line okay so you measure three inches upward from your hips line and that is the point where your front dart will stop okay so after that for um to get the dart legs okay we are going to measure half inch on both sides of the dart okay remember we had that one inch to our waist measurement okay so the half inch we are taking on both sides will equate one okay and that is why we are taking half inch all right so after taking the half inch we are going to connect the dart just like i'm doing here so guys the next thing we are going to do is to depress the waistline okay so you know guys despite the fact that we have thin waist our tummy is not 100% flat okay so we are going to depress the waist in order to accommodate the tummy okay we do not want to sew a skirt and then um, fabric will be bulging at the front okay so here I have come down by half inch okay and then i'm gonna connect that half inch to the side of my skirt okay if you're someone with an average tummy you can do one inch okay and if you're someone with a big tummy you can do 1.5 inch okay that would not in any way affect the length of the of your skirt okay it is going to accommodate your tummy okay instead that is what it is going to do okay and it will prevent your skirt from having excess fabric at the front you know all those wrinkles that you see at the front you're not going to have it so now i'm just going to add same allowances around the skirt okay and then i'm going to cut okay so uh, from the waist i'm going to cut from that new line that i just made all right <music> So now to the back, I have drawn a baseline at the top and also at the side, okay? And I also extended my hips line, okay? My hips line is 7.5 inches from my waist, okay? So it is the same thing that I used for the front. So the next thing is to measure my zipper allowance, okay? So from this line, okay, the baseline at the side, I'm going to measure one inch inward, okay? And this is going to be my zipper allowance. So guys, just to stress the line where I'm going to start my measurement from, I'm putting three dots on this line, okay? So that is where I'm going to start my measurement from. Okay, so now to measure the waist for the back, we're going to use the same measurement as we used for the front, okay? My waist measurement is 29 divided by 4, that's 7.25 plus 1 inch for that, that is 8.25, okay? So now to the hips, okay? Like I said earlier, you know I said that the hips for the back is wider than the hips for the front because of the buttocks, okay? So remember we deducted 1 inch while we were calculating the front front hips okay so that's one inch now we're going to add it to the back hips so the formula for calculating the back hips is total hips divided by two plus one okay so my hips is um 39 inches i'm going to divide that by two that gives me 19.5 and then i'm going to add one inch to hit okay the one inch that i deducted from the front hips okay so that gives me 20.5 so now this 20.5 is for the total back hips okay so i'm now i'm going to divide it by two which gives me 10.25 so 10.25 is for half of the back okay which is what we are drafting on this paper now just like we did for the front okay so now to mark the 
hips measurement that i just got on the hips line you know that usually we would start measuring from this line okay which is the zipper allowance line okay but considering that we are changing the narrative okay we'll be measuring from beyond the zipper allowance okay so i'm measuring 0 0.5 inch outwards okay towards the zipper allowance and then i'm I'm going to start measuring my 10.25 inch from that 0.5 inch that I marked outward. Okay, I hope you understand me. Okay, so I'm marking 0.5 inch um, beyond the zipper line. Okay, and then the remaining um, 9.75 inch, I think. Yes, I'm measuring that on the main paper. I hope you understand me so now to the m of the skirt i'm going to measure the same measurement that i have on my hips at the m of the skirt but mind you i'm going to start from the zipper allowance line okay and then i would also connect all the points i made at the side the waist to the hips and then to the hem also at the zipper side okay we're also going to do likewise okay we connect the waist to the hip line and then the hip line we're going to connect it to about five inches downward from the hip line okay so that that is the curve that is going to auger buttock so here i'm just going in with a red pen okay so that it would be clear okay waist to hips and then from the hip line okay to about five inches downward from the hip line okay so you see this curve that we have right here okay that is what is going to give the buttocks that fit okay so here i'm just going in with my french curve i'm just blending in um all the points that we have made okay so that we don't have any funny looking skirts okay or sharp edges <music> What I'm doing here is to put back my zipper allowance. Okay. You see that I have taken part of the zipper allowance that I made earlier. Okay, so now I am just going back there to measure one inch from that new line, from that red line, the line that I marked with a red marker. Okay, so I'm just measuring one inch, and then that will be our new zipper allowance. So don't be scared. The zipper allowance will be curved. Okay, but while you're fixing it you high on the zipper allowance first and then you uh, um, fix your zip and trust me by the time you wear the skirt or when your client wears the skirt you see that the skirt will be really fit so now to the dart on the waistline i'm going to do the same thing that i did on the front pattern okay so i'll be measuring half of my bust span okay which is 3.5 okay i'll mark it and then i will draw a straight line down okay so i'm going to start the dart from the waistline and then i'm going to end it at two inches above the hips line okay also i'll be taking half inch on both sides of the dart okay and that is what will form our dart leg So guys, whatever measurement your client is, trust me, this method works for all. And when I said works for all, I have worked with clients with hips of 55 and waist of about 40, 38. Okay. So if if you are working with someone with a hips of 52 inches, you are going to do it the same way. Okay. The front hips will be less than the back hips okay for example for the uh, for the hips of 52 front hips will be 52 divided by 2 minus 1 okay so that'll be 26 minus 1 and that'll be 25 okay so that'll be the front hips and then you divide it again by 2 to draft your pattern okay the back hips will be 52 divided by 2 okay plus one that's one inch that you deducted from the front hips okay and that will be 26 plus one that'll be 27 yeah 27 divided by two 
okay because we are drafting half of our pattern 27 divided by 2 that will be 13.5 okay so now one more thing that i should tell you is that you know while i was drafting my own okay i went into the zip allowance by half an inch at this side okay so now if you are working with someone who's hips and waist difference is more than 10 inches okay you go into the zipper allowance by one inch all right okay so if it is less than 10 inches go into the zipper allowance by half an inch if it is more than 10 inches go into the zipper allowance by one inch so it is from that new point okay that you mark that is where you're going to start your measurement from I hope you understand me all right and also you're just going to connect the lines just like i showed you all right so connect the lines from the waist to the new hips line okay and from there to about five inches below the hips line So guys, the last thing we are going to do on this skirt is to make the zipper lay flat on our body just like this, okay? So now, before I tell you what to do, you know if you measure around your waist, you see that there is a hollow kind of at the back, okay? The taper does not lay flat on the back, okay, because of that hollow, okay? The taper doesn't go inside it. And apart from that the waist is not as flat as the upper part of the back okay it's a little bit curved inward okay so now we'll be removing 0 0.5 inch from her waist measurement okay so now from the main line which is the zipper allowance I'll be taking 0 0.5 inch towards the dart okay and after that i'll be measuring the new zipper allowance which is one inch all right don't get it don't get it confused take 0 0.5 inch um towards the dart and then remeasure your zipper allowance so that is what i'm doing here so i'm just going to link the points together again okay so this simple trick is what will make the zipper lay flat okay so after linking this yeah i'm going to cut out that little excess that i now have okay because of the 0 0.5 inch that i took mind you guys it will not alter your waist measurement okay it won't be tight it will not be tight okay it will just come out perfectly so guys just take a look at the skirt look at all the places where the arrows are pointing to you see the front how flat it is you see the zipper part how flat it is and you see the the botox part you see how curved it is okay so this is how we want our skirt to be this is what we want it to look like okay the front is not wrinkled at all okay and that was the reason for depressing the front by 0 0.5 inch for me okay so if you have a big tummy you depress by one inch to 1.5 inch okay depends on how big your tummy is all right so also look at the back look at the zipper part okay the zipper is not bulging at all and it is flat okay remember what we did at that point right and also look at the butt part okay look at how again the skirt is this is how the skirt should look like all right whether it is pencil or whether it is a straight skirt the top part should be fit and then the bottom part could now be whatever style you want it to be thank you very much for watching my tutorial let me know what you feel about it please like and share my content and also don't forget to subscribe See you next time.